Are you guys planning on going to the beach tomorrow? Yes, I'm going to the Fort Ridley Park because I have to take Lauren to the beach. I have to. Because you haven't been, right? No. You can't come to Corpus Christi and not go to the beach, especially in suffering. Well, you know, you're from here. Tequila Cold. The party is just way too hot. There's way too many people here. We had to actually bring the interview outside, but I can tell you right now, anybody who's looking for a party, anybody who's looking for somewhere to go, any night, it seems to be like Tequila Cold. I is live definitely in the Tennessee. Place. I'm not used to the <laughs> caliber of It's a lot. <laughs> I love party. her accent. I know, I love it. I'm like, what did you say? Keep talking. Okay, please keep talking. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to wrap it up here. I just, I wanted to get, you know, a little bit of the reality of it like you know it's kind of hard to hear inside so I I, re I realized that you guys didn't know you were gonna be cut off but did you feel like you had to be on for the cameras do you feel like you were faking it or did you really feel that that were the emotions you were going through I think there's a difference between faking it and being on I think having to be on for the camera is more like pressure to be your best and it's reality TV you have to be your best it's a competition one way or another so I think we were all you know everybody was just trying to like be the best it could be just to get through it it wasn't really a competition but at the end of the day you graduate or you don't you pass or you don't so we had to be on at all times right well now that we're over that we're here to have a good time this is an off yes. night, so we're gonna have fun yes. and not worry about. And, and there were uh, uh, approximately how many girls on the show? It was eight of us total. We switched up. Shakira left, so we brought in Marissa, who we both actually love. I think that, and I'm gonna say this because it's an interview. I think that a lot of she did get kind of a bad rap. I know there's a lot of folks who didn't love her as much. Clear it up, Marissa. Clear it up. You know what? You know, and on that, I'm gonna clear up the cast. You know, this is just Amy's take on the cast. Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Lauren, she's I. Right. You know, she's cool. <laughs> she's good. I personally. I just came to Texas for you. <laughs> she's awesome. This girl right here. If I had to pick anybody else, it would still just be her. I mean, and, and I think that that honestly, and, and speaking about some of the other girls, that's what we learned for all of us. We all went into the situation completely blind. Right. No one knew they were being, being cut off, whether it was for TV or not. I mean, we still had to go through real situations. We still had very real reactions. I mean, from, even as dramatic as I was, it was all real. It was right. not, I didn't put on a show and try to be dramatic and fight just for TV. Like, right. for me, it's, you know, you put your hands on me, we got to deal with the situation. <laughs> and so, as dumb as yeah. the concept yeah. may have seemed, we, we learned a we lot. Did. A lot did of really did. Did. We really did. Okay, so, okay, I'm going to ask really each of you one at a time, what did you learn? You can't answer for me. I'll let her do that one. I'm all, you can't answer. What did you learn from The main lesson I learned is that not everyone is like me, and I have to accept everyone for who they are, and I can, like, go out now and, you know, hang out with just anybody, because you feel I think like I was in a house with the most extreme personalities oh, yeah. that exist in the whole world, so I think if anything, it opened my eyes to people that are different from me and it was so interesting but it was fun and I learned a lot and well good for I you. I feel like I'm a better person. <laughs> oh well that's good. That's really good. good and, and what did you learn? It was my pageanting. I, I know I totally heard that. Oh I've got, 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 got a pageanting. Oh I just got done judging a pageant. She's full of it. I've asked her how you feel about euthanasia. How do you feel about euthanasia? I think the euthanasia are just fine. <laughs> Thank you.
but a real beauty queen answer. Okay, for no the way. record. Amy, what did you learn? What did you take from the show home with you that sticks in your heart? You know, I'm, I'm going to have to agree with Lauren. It might have felt, people might have thought, oh, they're just doing this for TV. They're just acting. Again, it was real reactions to real situations. The main thing I learned over anything, because I think we all knew going into this project, we're, we're, we're all a work in progress. No one is perfect. Everybody has something about themselves that they have to change or would like to change. Mine is sometimes, you know, I, I, I'm, I can be very reactive. I react to the slightest thing like that. More than anything, I learned I've got to bring it back. I've got to bring it home. You've got to stop. Like, even just listen. If someone's making no sense, you've got to stop and give them a chance to explain. And maybe it'll start to make sense. I think Lauren did and that with And even if Hannah. it doesn't, then you can be like, you, okay, it really I don't, exactly. It really doesn't make sense. Like, it's truly, more, I learned that from Lauren more than right. anything. Like, with the situation when we did charity, Hannah, you know, she was like, I mean, everybody can go back and watch the episode. She was so belligerent, and I wasn't hearing her. I was like, you're just, you're wrong. And she was like, no, I have a reason for thinking this way. Lauren was the only one who took time to go and hear her out. And I wish I had, I, you know, really in hindsight, I do wish that I had stopped and listened. And so that's one thing I'm learning. The m main, main thing that I learned was to not take my mother for granted. It was, oh, oh. No, you're fine. You're good. The main thing I learned was not to take my mother for granted. She has been there, I've truly, because, you know, the whole point of us being cut off is getting away from our parents financially. And so, finding yourself. Absolutely. Sure. I mean, look at Marissa and her mom, as close as they were, she's got to learn one day, you know, if a freak accident happens tomorrow, mom's not there. Right. So you're going to have, and that, it's the same thing with me. I'm like complete, not as codependent, but I mean, that's somebody that I talk to every single day. Right. That's someone I, I get in, I'm in constant communication with. Even she has told me, there might be a day when mom is not here. Right. So I just learned to really appreciate everything she has done for me right. from the time I was this big. You know what I mean? So, yeah. you know, being a or more like this big. Serious. <laughs> or just a, just a glint in my father's eye. <laughs> you know, she's yeah. someone who's striven to make a life for me that she never had. Well, I, you know, just hearing this from both of you guys, it really sounds like each one of you took something different from it and you made a negative, a positive, oh, yeah. and that's really what counts. Yeah. Try to anyway. Try to, and you may not have learned all the lessons, but really who right. to. Oh, okay. You just take one where you can. Take where you can and deal yeah. with it. Yeah, but it's, it's great to see you guys out here. I mean, you know, yeah. having a little VH1 party in Corpus Christi, that's I so know. much fun Overall, for us. Overall, it was fun, and it brought us together. I know, I would have never met I think I would have, like, hugged her. Hugged her. Hugged I know, hugged on. Oh, wow. <laughs> Seriously. But no, thank you so much for talking yeah, to us. Thank you for having us. And I got to say thank you to the Crush Girls. You guys have been here to support, like, uh, from yeah. the time that this was like, oh, I want to have a party in Corpus. So you guys have, like, just gone completely above and beyond. Crush Girls Dance Squad, I wish you guys the freaking best. Because those they girls were moving. They I'm like, them. I can do this move, and I can do this move, but I probably can't be a Crush Dance Squad. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. And thanks to Tequila Cove. We had so oh, much man, fun tonight. Oh, man, Tequila Cove is a great place. Happy to be here. It's nighttime, so you can't just see the water, but this is I'm amazing. thinking about, you know, after hours, maybe dragging y'all to the beach. Anyway. I'm so <laughs> with that. I'm, Lauren's never been oh, to our beach, so let's put her, let's see her, so let's take her. I'll kick my heels off right now. You, you and me both. Oh, you can't it. take heels on the beach, so you're going to have to kick them. Okay. Off. You'll get okay. sand in your heels. <laughs> Not mine. They are near, so. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I hope you girls have a ton of fun tonight. Thanks for coming out in your party here at Tequila yeah. Cove. Thanks for hanging out with the Crush yeah. Girls. Let's party. Heck yeah, dude. Let's, Let's do it. Let's get in there. Awesome. Thank you so Bye much, guys. Crush Girls. Take it easy. www.thecrushgirls.com. Yes. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs>